Out of the Blue Unexpectedly wasn't supposed to be a single. It wasn't written with that, you know, como looking for that either. That one was absolutely special. Hi, I'm Pedro Capo, and this is Billboard News. Pedro Capo, yes. welcome to Billboard News. Thank you. Happy to be here. Happy to see you. Thank you for having me. Likewise. And yeah. now you're back with La Neta Tour. This is the first tour since the onset of the pandemic for you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, happy. Happy that we finally got here. I'm, Tell us about that tour. Yes. Well, we started in uh, in Spain. We did uh, four cities over there and it was a huge wow. success. Uh, every city sold out. We're now going to Argentina, which they all sold out. I feel like La Neta is that, you know, the little boat that could. And uh, and then we're going to Mexico and we're going, we're coming to the States. So we should be here in October. Very excited about that. La Neta was a different, it is a different sound. And I feel like it marks a, a, a road ahead for me. And so? uh, uh Because uh, sonically I was coming out of the whole Calma thing, which was beautiful, amazing. Calma had, you know, happened in such a interesting moment. The pandemic came. I kind of got lost in my sound for a little bit, which is part of, of our process, I, I'd say. And La Neta was something that I rec record and produce and write in its entirety in, in my house. Very personal. So you wrote yeah. it during the pandemic? Yep, it's a pandemic album. It's the, a, a picture of everything that happened in those two years of my life. And uh, the best thing that happened was it pushing me to build a studio in my house and working from there. And it has a certain sound. I gotta tell you, I love La Fiesta. I love the lyrics, and I, I love that you wrote it all on your own. I love the the, the whole wordplay in that song. Oh, thank was you. Was that fun to write? That was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. I was in my backyard, un roncito y la guitarra, and I was like, you know, what's a fear? that I feel, you know, that we can all relate to. And I, the first thing I thought was death. And I think it's an important conversation to bring to the table. You know, we're dying from the second we're born, but not to make it dark and morbid, on the contrary. Kind of be playful with it, humorously, talking about, I felt the pain, I looked online. We know what happens when we look online, you know? <laughs> and I wanted to kind of, you know, play on that. And and also give a perspective of, you know, that final outcome of, of ours. It's an invitation to enjoy what we have in the present moment. And, and it's been for me and it was as therapeutic to me to write as, as a, you know it, me, la ilusión que me da que ojalá resuene y podamos encontrar algo de, de paz y alivianar en este tema and the volver a casa to me was as literal as coming back home after being on the road or un día difícil en el trabajo and as symbolic as, as coming back to your essence to that you know safe place that we all have um, to express ourselves and, and heal vulnerably. Calma is this humongous hit. I um, I believe it was maybe even the biggest song of the year. And you get the biggest hit of your career. Right. Like out of the blue. Yeah, out of the blue, unexpectedly. It wasn't supposed to be a single. It wasn't written with that, you know, como looking for that either. That one was absolutely special. Thanks to Farruko. I mean, the whole combination of things, the timing just worked out amazingly, but it was very new to me. I, I, you know, I thought I was at the place that I got to, you know, as a writer and I was happy with that. Completely caught me off guard. I was 38 and started, you know, traveling the world and then a sudden stop because of the whole pandemic. Yes. And, yeah. and so you, you come from that global success so big and then there's a pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you have to like back to one <laughs> back to did you feel that way did, did at one point you wake up and say this sucks right <laughs> you know you know it was very important too because i feel like i was starting to fall into the trap of chasing a mm. calma moment and, and as a songwriter and creative it was affecting me that silence was necessary for me to kind of come back to my roots what would have been of pedro without that in the middle where were you going naturally creative and that's what la neta uh, has been for me and what's coming i just i spent about a month just locked locked myself in, in nashville and we put forth a, a great number of songs that should be coming out at the end of the year and so all your lyrics in spanish but this kind of rich fusion of music yeah there's a little bit of country there's a little bit of what i you know unavoidably bring to the table and uh very happy i think it's going to be a special one